Hi everyone, welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with JR Clocker on eBay. And today I want to show you how to take one of these apart. Um, somebody wants to send me this barrel because the spring's broken. And so uh, I want to show you how to get it out because all you have to do is send me the barrel. Anyway, so see how this is loose right here? It's, and it's loose when I turn it here. It has to be that way. Otherwise, if it's wound up, you can't send it to me this way. I don't want you taking this apart. This is somebody you really need to know what you're doing. But if the spring is broken, you probably don't have a problem with that. Easy. All you have to do is take this uh, screw off, which I'll do right here. All right. And uh, take both of these pieces off. Let's not lose the screw. And we'll put them aside. And then we'll take this out. And then, if I can get in here, uh, the barrel comes right out. Uh, if yours, if it's a Hermley, you don't have to send me anything. You don't have to send me this piece. If it doesn't have a number on it, yeah, you might want to send me this piece. But um, normally, if it's a 50 or 40, 42, 50, you know, whatever it is, I have the 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 uh, the arbor. This is called the arbor. I have the arbor for it here, so I don't need it. Um, anyway, it's as easy as it goes. If it's this one here, um, again, you got to make sure that it's not wound at all. Please don't mess with this if they're wound up. Um, anyway, um, if you if they are wound up, contact me. I may be able to help you make a little tool to, um, to, it's a little tool like my letdown tool right here. And, um, you just can't use a key because the key will crack your knuckles real bad. Anyway, if you need to get this one out, you're going to have to move this a little bit. And this, these are brass, you know, you can bend them, you can then bend them back. It's not, you know, you can tune uh, your chimes that way too. If one's not loud enough, you can, or one's too soft or one's too loud or it's bouncing off. You can always bend these. That's not a big deal. Anyway. And then, uh, uh, this one's a triple chime. It's a little bit more difficult to get that out because you got to move, you got to take this apart. Um, but this one on a regular chime, Westminster chime should come out just as easy as this one. Anyway, that's a little tip for today. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time.